What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ori. Welcome back to AM Oliver. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing all right. Today we are back reacting, reacting to another video. We're gonna be reacting to the strangest last meals requested on death row. In case those who don't know what death row is, that's when they ugh, give you a little heroin shot. Well, not heroin shot, but hey, I got a question though. What? What is? Not what is. What? is the actual scientific name for the fluid day injections. I know a long time ago they used to give you the electrical chair. I'm pretty sure they don't do that no more. Well, some countries don't do that no more. You know, I know like they connect you, inject you. You know what I mean? But anyway, they give you a last meal before you kick the bucket. And we're gonna see what are some of the last meals, some of the strangest last meals people requested. All right, let's get into the video. In some states in America and other countries with legal capital punishment, there exists an interesting custom for criminals on death row. The infamous last meal. Yeah. Convicted felons are granted the opportunity to select any food and drink of their choice within certain regulations on the eve of their execution. Here are some of the strangest meals ever recorded. Charlie Ranch is that way it. If you can't get it in prison. Number 20, Victor Harry Fagger. In 1963, 28-year-old Victor Harry Fager was sentenced to death by hanging for convicted wow. kidnapped murder. Oh, for his final mind. meal, the young man had only one request, a single olive with the pit left in. After what? his execution, the olive pit was found inside Fager's suit pocket, contributing to the popular belief that he intended to be buried alongside it so that the olive tree symbolizing peace would sprout from his grave. Wow. A dangerous criminal, it's almost a touching sentiment. Right? Gerald Lee Mitchell. Gerald Lee Mitchell's final meal was even sweeter than Fagger's, but in an entirely different sense. As he awaited his final moments on death row, Mitchell had only one thing on his mind when it came to his final meal, an assorted bag of Jolly Ranchers candy. Oh, I'm blaming you, boy. the entire bag before facing the final curtain, it's safe to say this criminal intended to go out on a real sugar high. Number 18. I'm blaming man. I like me some Jolly Ranchers, too. While some have a clear idea of the last thing they'll eat, muscle. others are totally spoiled for choice. Taking full advantage of this unusual opportunity, convicted killer and white supremacist Lawrence Russell Brewer decided what? to indulge in an enormous feast in 2011. He requested two fried chicken steaks with gravy and onion, a triple bacon cheeseburger, a cheese omelet with ground beef, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, and jalapenos, Boy. three fajitas, a meat feast pizza, a bowl of fried okra, a pound of barbecued meat with Boy. half a loaf of white bread, peanut butter fuck with crushed peanuts, and a pint of bluebell ice cream. All washed down with three root beers. This the final going on. to the justice system, though, Brutal refused to eat a morsel when the order arrived, claiming that he wasn't hungry. Texas Senator John Whitmire was so furious that he decided to ban the last meal request in the state, so future death row prisoners have what? Prince Russell Brewer to blame for regular prison slot. Number 17. John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. Another felon who capitalized on his last meal request was the notorious serial killer John Wayne Gacy, otherwise known as the Killer Clown Pogo. For his final supper, Gacy oh. ordered 12 fried shrimp, a bucket of original recipe KFC, french fries, and a pound of strawberries. I believe you, bro. his conviction, Gacy had managed three KFC restaurants in his home city of Waterloo, and he clearly never got tired of that finger-licking goodness. Number 16, John Spinkelink. For some, food isn't the priority at all when it comes down to making a last order. Previously known as a heavy drinker, Spinkelink denied any special food to be prepared, but asked for a single flask of Jack Daniels instead, oh, which is the prison superintendent. After his death, the state of Florida's last meal provisions was revised to exclude alcohol altogether, but to be honest, going out while drunk doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Well, I want Number 15, skip one. Eileen Warnos. Eileen Warnos also requested a beverage before taking her last breath in 2002, but of Damn. a different kind. A single cup of black coffee was all she wanted. It may seem like this request was her way of saying, don't even think about killing me before I've had my morning coffee, but Warnos actually had far crazier motivations. In fact, she didn't believe she was going anywhere for long, as her notorious last words were, I'd just like to say I'm sailing with the rock, and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus June 6th. It's safe to say she still hasn't turned up yet. <laughs> Number 14, Ricky Ray Rector. Ricky Ray Rector seemed to have similar motivations when it came to his last meal. Rector had ordered a tasty sounding meal consisting of steak, fried chicken, and cherry Kool-Aid, followed by a slice of pecan pie. Mm -hmm. But he left his dessert untouched. 
When asked why he changed his mind on the sweet treat, Richter simply said he was saving it for later. Whether this was intended as an ironic joke or a sinister hint at his return in the end, I think it's it as a joke. It's entirely up to you. Number 13, Timothy McVeigh. What this senseless killer ordered as his last two rounds might surprise him, given the seriousness of his crimes. What? All McVeigh wanted to eat before his execution in 2001 was two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Though it's unclear whether one remained chilled as he guzzled down the first or simply melted into a puddle beside it. To be honest, for a man responsible for 168 innocent deaths, even melted ice cream seems far too generous. Number 12. <laughs> <David> <laughs> Convicted Facts. murderer David Leon Woods spent a whopping 22 years on death row before he was put to death on May 4, 2007 in Michigan, Indiana. When the daunting moment finally came, Woods had a fairly simple request for his last meal. He chose a standard pizza and an entire birthday cake, both of which he shared with his family. As it turns out, his birthday was actually three months after his execution, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Number 11. Zero. Thomas J. Grasso. Thomas J. Grasso was not the brightest of the bunch, and when Judgment Day came in 1995, his final meal request reflected his questionable life choices. He ordered a plethora of extravagant foods like two dozen steamed clams, half a dozen barbecued ribs, a Burger King double cheeseburger, and two strawberry milkshakes, alongside a can of SpaghettiOs to be served at room temperature. When Grasso's meal arrived, he was served spaghetti and meatballs instead, a mistake he'd never forgive, as his final words were, I did not get my SpaghettiOs. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Number wow. 10, Stephen Wayne Anderson. Grasso isn't the only one to throw a seemingly random ingredient into the mix when concocting the perfect final meal. Stephen Wayne Anderson was a pretty deadly criminal, but his food choices were interesting to say the least. Before his execution in California in 2002, the 48-year-old requested two grilled cheese sandwiches, a pint of cottage cheese, a hominy corn mixture, peach pie and chocolate chip ice cream, and well, a big helping of radishes on the side. Huh? Number 9. Peter J. Menial. That's weird, bro. Convicted killer Peter J. Menial could give Lawrence Russell Brewer a run for his money for one of the biggest orders ever served on death row in 2004. Menial confessed to his crimes and was vocal about being ready to pay the price, but not before he gorged himself on this whopping order. He requested 20 beef tacos, what? 20 beef enchiladas, what? two double cheeseburgers, a pizza with jalapenos, yes, so, oh yeah. fried chicken, spaghetti with sauce, yeah, yeah. and a modest dessert of half a chocolate cake, yeah, yeah. half a vanilla cake, cookies and cream, yeah, yeah. caramel for mm -hmm. fudge ice cream, and a small fruit cake. Uh -huh. Wash it all down, he also had two lots okay. of coke, Pepsi, okay. and beer, and okay. orange juice. Maybe I can hang out with him. Henry VIII style before facing the music. Except for the killing body. Velma Barfield. This sweet goddamn grandmother became known as the Death Row Granny. Velma Barfield was the first woman put to death in the U.S. in 22 years when she was executed by lethal injection in 1982. Four. But not before she was granted one final meal. A cup of tea, a slice of coffee cake, or a fruit scone might be what you'd expect. But all Barfield really wanted was a packet of cheese doodles and a can of Coke. But oh. a devout Christian old lady who also killed six people, what can you really expect? <laughs> Number seven, Robert Alvin Harris. When you're ordering your final meal on death row, it's important to cover all bases. And why agonize over which takeaway to get when you can combine the lot? This is exactly what murderer Robert Alton Harris did in 1992 when he requested a 21-piece bucket of KFC and two large Domino's pizzas yes, alongside a six-pack of Pepsi, yes, ice cream, and a bag of jelly beans. Yes, sir. And a packet of Camel cigarettes for good oh. measure. Mm -hmm. Harris is most remembered for his final words, though, which were... You can be a king or a street sweeper, but everybody dances with the Grim Reaper. Kind of prophetic oh, for a season criminal. Wow. Number six, Ronnie Lee That's Gardner. some real shit. Plenty of death row criminals have used their final meal as an opportunity to make smart choices, and Ronnie Lee Gardner was certainly determined to make his sitting last as long as possible. He didn't go too overboard on his order of steak, lobster tail, apple pie with vanilla ice cream, and a 7-Up, okay. but he also had another request to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy while eating. Surprisingly, Gardner was permitted to do so, and with a combined yeah. runtime of more than 11 hours, this must have been the longest last meal ever. Number five, Philip Workman. Gluttony was the last thing on Phillips' mind when he requested his final meal. His final request was for a large vegetarian pizza to be given to a random homeless person. A oh. prison official to do so, and he ate nothing. You deserve death row for that.
you give a random homeless person a vegetarian pizza. Bruh. You sick, twisted individual. This man is laughing in the face of homeless people. A vegetarian pizza? Y'all know what that is? There's no meat. It's just veggies and cheese and bread. Hmm. Nasty. Ah! Bro, that's pretty cruel, bro. Now I understand why he got death row. Because, bro, I wouldn't even do that to my worst enemy. That's like telling me, eat vegan pizza. Ew! Have y'all ever had vegan pizza? Go outside, pick up a leaf, rub it in the dirt, and eat it. That's exactly what it tastes like. He requested his final meal. His final I, request I put it back. was for a large vegetarian pizza to be given to a random homeless person. But a prison official this refused dude. to do so, and he ate nothing. In a surprising turnout, on the day of his death on May 9th, homeless shelters in Tennessee received large amounts of vegetarian pizzas from people all over the country. Ew. So at least he did one good deed before his death. Number That's four, not no good deed. Angel Nieves Diaz. Philip Workman may have gone hungry because of his strangely selfless request, but Angel Nieves Diaz deliberately turned down his last meal. As he didn't order anything special, Diaz was served a regular Wednesday prison menu of shredded turkey with taco seasoning, cheese, rice, pinto beans, tortilla shells, apple crisp, and ice cream. As surprisingly nice as that sounds, Diaz refused to eat that too. And in his final words, he condemned the death penalty as a form of vengeance, but also a cowardly act by humans. Number three. Oba Chandler. For his last meal, he ordered two salami that. sandwiches on white bread with mustard and peanut butter, and a great jelly sandwich on white bread with iced tea and a coffee. And with all that bread, it's safe to say, another one bites the crust. Bits. <laughs> Short link on screen and in the description if you feel the need. <laughs> to more another one bites the crust. Number two, Robert Dale Conklin. Conklin clearly had expensive taste as he requested for champagne and wrapped in bacon, deveined shrimp, sauteed mm. with garlic butter with lemon, baked potato with sour cream, chives, and real bacon bits, corn on the cob, asparagus with hollandaise sauce, French bread with butter, goat cheese, yes, sir. vanilla bean ice cream, and iced tea. Iced tea! One, I tell my wife to say Ace This convicted felon had one of the most bizarre last meal requests ever recorded. When it came down to his final meal request in 1990, all he wanted was a lump of soil. Although some have speculated that he did indeed intend to chow down on the dirt, others have suggested he planned to perform a voodoo ritual as the soil was specified to be the recondite. That's vegan pizza right now. Witchcraft. As dirt was not on the list of foods permitted so by the regulation, Smith's request was denied, and he was served a cup of yogurt instead. Ah, which of course ah, is not a reasonable uh, alternative. So, what would you order if you were... Hey, that's it? exactly what vegan pizza is. <laughs> a lump of soil. That thing tastes so bad. Bro, it's not even real cheese. I don't know what that is. It's not even real... What is it? It's, I don't know. I forget the crap they use. Um, peanut flour? That's, that's just terrible! You can't use real cheese. I don't know what the hell vegan pizza. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I know there's a difference between veggie and vegan pizza. Don't get me wrong. But, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below in the comment section. Show your favorite fat boy some love. Come on, man. Show me some love. You know, I, I fuck with y'all. Y'all fuck with me. But, with that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, be joyful, and remember the world is yours. Peace.